Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. If you are new here, welcome. Today I just did a date night get ready with me. This is some like go-to glam that I would do if Brian took me on a date. Um, but if you're interested in this, it's actually super simple. I know a cut crease can be kind of intimidating, but honestly I'm not the best at cut creases. It just takes time. But anyway, if you want to know how I got this look, just keep watching. So to start off, I'm going to be taking my Morphe 350 palette and just using that kind of gray shadow as a transition color and then the brown right next to it is going to just deepen up my crease and I'm also going to kind of wing that color out a little bit. And then to blend this brown color out, I'm just going to be going back in with that brush that I used for the gray transition color and I'm going to be buffing everything together. And then I'm going to be giving myself like a half cut crease at first. I wanted to do like kind of a wing with this cut crease if you know what I mean. And I'm so sorry for this footage right here. Like it literally just imagine like sorry guys. Um, but I decided I didn't want to so I went back in with that dark brown color. And it honestly ended up pretty patchy so I tried to fix it as best I could. And in the end, it kind of worked out. I mean, I literally just kept adding color. Like, I was so frustrated. I was literally about to take everything off and restart. But I didn't want to. So, um, I went back in with this really pretty, like, light pink champagne color. And just put that all where I just cut my crease. Again, this is a really bad footage right here. But it gets better, guys. I'm so sorry. So to move on to my face, I'm just going to be taking my Maybelline Master Prime and my NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator and mixing those two primers together just to give my face a really soft, shimmery, glowy feel to it and look as well, obviously. And then I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in shade Creamy Natural. I do have a little bit of a fake tan going still around my neck and chest area so that's why I wanted to blend it in with my neck it is a little dark on my face but that's why and then like usual I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just concealing my under eyes, my nose, my chin, my forehead and blending that out with a Real Techniques damp sponge And then to set pretty much my entire face, I'm going to be taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder on a different Real Technique sponge and just pressing that powder underneath my under eyes, on my nose, on my chin. I'm really focusing it in my T-zone area, but then again I'm just kind of buffing it in everywhere around my face as well because I really want my face to be set. I do get kind of oily. And then for my bronzer today, I'm going to be taking my Physicians Formula Bronzer and just putting that on the perimeter of my forehead and also on my cheekbones. I really like to use a big fluffy brush just because I feel like it gives it more of like a really smooth finish whereas if I use a smaller like detailed brush I feel like it doesn't blend that well. And then I'm just wiping away that bake with a big powder brush and then after I'm going to be setting my face with the MAC Fix Plus and then this new trick I kind of learned um, just kind of pat your face in with another sponge just to make sure that nothing like is wet on your face after that and then I'm going to be taking my Carly Bible highlighter I use this a bunch but it is my favorite highlighter and I'm going to be putting that on my cheeks my nose and my cupid's bow next to finish up my eyes I'm just going to be taking a gel black liner this one is by L'Oreal and I'm just going to be putting that on my waterline I really like this eyeliner, it is super black and it doesn't bleed. And then I'm just going to be putting on some mascara on my bottom lashes. Then to move on to my lips, I'm going to be taking my NYX Lip Liner in Natural and just lining my lips. I haven't used this liner in a while but I forgot how much I really love the color. And then to finish off my lips, I'm going to be taking my NYX Pump It Up. Um, lip gloss it actually has like a lip plumper in it yeah that's what it's called <laughs> alright guys and this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. It would mean the world to me. And while you're at it, make sure you click the bell so you get notified as to when I post my next video. Hopefully, I will be posting a video pretty soon after this. I do have a clothing haul coming soon with pretty much all the jewelry and clothes that I'm wearing right now. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Motorsport, yeah. put that thing in sports. Shout it bad, pop like a court. Poppy, you a dork.